channel Knowledge Star, Continuous Knowledge Excellence. My name is Nisha Masroor. In this video, we will get to know about scaffolds for tissue engineering. Now, our expert Dr. Neelu Navani, Professor and in charge of Microbial Diversity Research Center, PhD coordinator, will explain you in detail about this topic. So, to get complete information, watch full video without skip. So, the tissue engineering part again is um, very versatile. Uh, plenty of uh, biomaterials available in the marine systems have been used so far. So let's look at what is a scaffold first. So a scaffold is actually a biomaterial, which is a polymeric biomaterial. So all rightly said polysaccharides have the suitability for this. So a polymeric biomaterial will give a structural support. So you want the tissue cells to be formed. You want the cells to grow and form a tissue. So you need something over which the cells would layer themselves and will allow the tissue development to take place. Now, obviously, when you want the tissue to develop, you will have to provide the nutrients to it. You have to provide the necessary uh, levels of uh, gaseous levels. You will have to provide necessary ones. And the environment, micro environment has to be perfect, right? For the growth, appropriate growth of the tissue. Now, if you start from the stem cells, the stem cells have to be uh, pushed towards lineage selection. So they would, when you give them certain molecules, which would trigger their differentiation towards a particular lineage. Wait, wait, wait. I worry about your project, training, dissertation, internship. Don't think too much because Nanoscience and Technology Consortium, in short, NSTC, is giving you a golden opportunity to do the same task. NSTC also conducts workshop on amazing topics. So if you want to register in the workshop, the registration link is given in the description box below, or you may go to the website www.nanoschool.in where you can easily enroll in the workshops. So just check it out right now. Then in that case, you have to give this other environment also. It's not only the molecule, which will trigger their differentiation towards a particular lineage, but it will also be the microenvironment which will play a role over there. So naturally, the support would be important. The nutritional support also would be important so that the cells can develop into a proper tissue. Now, the polymeric biomaterials give structural support. So those are called as scaffolds. And what are the properties of these materials? So they are three-dimensional. They have suitable pore sizes. Pore sizes are again crucial here because you want the exchange of nutrients to happen, exchange of gases to happen. They also support cell migration. Naturally, when you're talking about development of tissue, you need the cells to migrate. You need the cells to proliferate. Diffusion of oxygen and nutrients, they should be biodegradable. The support should, you don't need the support once the tissue has formed. So once the tissue has effectively formed, the support, uh, the uh, skeleton has to go, okay? So therefore, this, it has to be biodegradable. They should have good mechanical properties. They should not be toxic and they should not uh, trigger the immune system or the immune response. Hope you like the video. Here, I would like to give you an important information that Nanoscience and Technology Consortium or NSTC organized the nanotechnology workshops on very interesting topics. Also, I would like to tell you about the initiatives of NSTC in which you can also be a part of, like mentorship, patent commercialization, joint product development, research projects, consultancy services, nanomaterials for your research projects, training programs or customized training programs, workshops or customized workshops. So that's all. If you want to see these type of videos, then please do comment. We will definitely reach out to you. Subscribe to the channel Knowledge Star and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thank you. For more updates, subscribe to our channel. Click the links shown on the screen to stay connected.